Hey everybody. Whoo! Just finished a workout here. Um, Massachusetts is finally reached warm weather. We go to the extreme in weather in Massachusetts. So we'll have literally no spring and then be hot, humid, and 80 degrees. So I'm making this post because I want to talk about balance. Ooh, so balance, my goal this New Year's was to have more balance in my life because I can tend to go to the extremes. And when I start to work out, I go to the extremes with my eating. Another one of my goals this whew, New Year's was to listen to my body and to eat intuitively, intuitive eating. I don't know if you've heard of that. Um, basically, listening to your body, what your body needs. And I was getting messages like um, my intuition and my inner voice, as some dislike me to say. <laughs> But my inner voice was telling me to stop eating sugar. And it was telling me that for a while. I didn't listen. So I had a couple of incidents where I had a little bit too much sugar and had migraines. So my health has been a little topsy-turvy over the past year because I haven't been listening to that intuition, that inner voice. And now, see, when I was younger, I went to the extremes where I had an eating disorder. This is something you might not know about me, but I was anorexic after I had my daughter. So I go to the extremes when I was eating organic I went 100% organic and I never ate out. I would never eat out because if it wasn't organic, I wasn't eating it. Well, I found a healthy balance with that somewhat, still finding it, and finding my healthy balance with working out, which sometimes can be a little difficult because I can go to the extreme when I'm working out. So again, the word balance keeps coming up. Mind, body, and soul is the goal. Not only balance for the body, which is crucial as for your muscles and stretching is wonderful for the body, nice and relaxing. Balance, I work out with building muscle and balancing it with stretching balance so focus forget fit with grace is balance so I was um the reason why I'm talking about this is because I had the extreme thing about eating and I was doing it again and I caught myself at the beginning of the year Whew, and I was doing all the, you know, if it fits your macrobes, carb cycling, and all that jazz. And I've decided to just get back to the basics with my nutritional system and intuitive eating. So I ask you, are you listening to your body? Do you get that little inner voice the intuition that's telling you don't eat that, stop eating that, listen, listen to it and you will feel better. So recently, it's been probably about a month where I have decreased my sugar significantly. I haven't had a pastry, haven't had a donut, haven't had like basically the amount of sugar intake I probably take in is in my coffee and that's probably about two to three teaspoons of sugar 
a day. What I'm eating, if it has sugar in it, well, it has sugar in it, but I'm not eating anything, any additional sugar. So I have even cut down on ice cream and you all know how much I love ice cream. So this is like, uh, and no, someone has suggested artificial sweeteners. Nope, cannot do it. Instant headaches. So, whew. so far so good. It's been a month of decreased sugar and I've actually cut out my white flour again. I don't do the, so what I do is I have bread, but it's flourless bread. And I actually found flourless pizza, which I love. I mean, uh, obviously it's gonna be gluten-free whenever you're looking for something flourless, but I don't have allergies to gluten. It's just that I feel better when I have less white flour. So, cause the breads that I buy, from what I've heard from people that have celiac, celiac disease, is they couldn't even eat the breads that I buy because it still has these grains that they cannot eat. So no, I have no allergies to those type of things, but I do see a difference in my body and feel better when I don't eat them. So my message is again to you, are you listening to your body? Are you listening to that inner voice? Are you listening to your intuition? Are you listening to, have you gotten to mess it, mess up, if I can talk, listen to the messages, <sighs> to your health, peace out, get fit with grace, subscribe, cheers.